Hello everyone, uh, my name is Luz Maria de Regil. I am uh, the Director of Global Technical Services and Chief Technical Advisor with Nutrition International. I, and I also serve uh, in the board of the Society of Implementation Science of Nutrition as Chief Information Officer. Uh, today we are in Argentina in International Conference of Nutrition where we had a, a, a great panel on implementation research and today we have a great guest. So can you introduce yourself please? Sure Liz. My name is Heather Grieve. I'm uh, in a position of Senior Nutrition Advisor to the Australian Government in Timor-Leste. I also work closely with the President's Office. And you were talking about? Oh yes, today I was talking about at the, um, during the session on some of the tools that we're using for implementation development research in a multi-sector nutrition program in team. Thank you so much. So I think it was a great presentation. So could you share uh, with us the key issues that um, are necessary to improve the multi-sectoral collaboration? We frequently hear that that is difficult to uh, achieve and I'm sure that it is, but I'm sure that there is hope and we can learn from your experience. I am sure there's hope, <laughs> but I do agree. I think this is a very complex area. One of the problems is that is we don't have a lot of programmatic evidence to draw from globally, or particularly in Timor, there is nothing. So we kind of we're having to learn as we go, and I think some of those lessons are really going to contribute to the global space, um, the, the global evidence in this space. I think one of the big tips I would recommend is give it time because it's complex, particularly when you're working with governments at, at a number of layers. We're working at national and subnational, and with a number of partners. So giving it time and being safe to learn and safe to fail because this is a new space that we're going to work And I think that that is key for the, I mean, all partners need to understand that piece, right? So it's a little bit of patience and it's to learn, to do and to learn and also to bring others aboard. That's right, that's right. And I also think part of that learning needs to be well resourced. I think the resourcing to really make sure that we're writing up some of these failures and successes and contributing and making sure that that research component is well resourced. Thank you. And in your view, uh, to my knowledge, you are one of the few projects, uh, you are leading one of the projects that um, uses technology in a very uh, innovative way. So if you can describe a little bit what is that component and in your view, what is the role of technology for implementation research? I think that, that would be very useful for us. Yeah. Members. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's a really good question because I think technology does play a role in enhancing traditional um, approaches and traditional methods, particularly in this day and age. And I think in many circumstances in a multi-sector program, people still think sectorally, and they often think that collaboration or integration is perhaps having a meeting or or doing a joint activity and then going back to the our the normal sector. So I think what, what we've learned is that technology can provide um, a way of making that collaboration in a fun way um, default um, and allowing partners to share information and share experiences through a, a mobile platform. I think the other really important thing is, is that data can be very powerful in these processes and we often wait for DHS data or survey data. If using technology we can get real-time data that we can be using to monitor as we go and reflect on, on processes and programs. I like that word, reflecting on processes and pro uh, um, programs rather than just talking about course correction, right? yes. that is a more extreme terminology. So in your view, um, how does the CISIM framework fit into the strategies that you are using? Okay, I think um, the CISIM framework provides um, uh, a mechanism for it. In some ways it actually is validating some of the work that we're doing. The, the, the process of proof of testing and using innovation to, to add to this space of which is quite a it's a blank space in, in many ways. But the system framework has got that flexibility to allow innovation to be testing proof of concept and to be um, developing new and innovative ways to change the way that we work. Well, thank you so much. Uh, it has been great. And if you are interested in learning more about CC, please go to our website. Uh, you will see it here. And 
you will learn not only about the framework but also about how you can join us and make this a problem. Thank you.